Hello everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and today I have a thrift store haul and I have a few items. I have a couple items that I'm including from a past um, thrift um, shopping trip that I made and I did that shopping trip right before we went to my daughter's graduation. So, And I haven't been since then. I don't think that I could recall. So I'm going to start with what I got before um, we left here. And the first thing I picked up and now what I've been noticing... The thrift stores have really, really just skyrocketed their prices. Um, with the exception of Goodwill, they haven't went extremely high um, yet. But like um, the Salvation Army and Village Thrift have really went really high with their prices. So I can only go when it's a half off day because I'm not spending those prices um, for what they're trying to charge. So I picked this up from... The Village, I think this was the Village Thrift. And this is a milk glass sconce. And they only had one. And it was $6.99. So they made it $3.50. Okay, so that was one. Secondly, um, on that trip, I found this. Now, I took the price tag off of these two items. Is this Day Runner. It's like an A5. Yeah, A5 size planner. And it seems like it is real leather. It appears to be. I may be wrong. I did put a few of my inserts in it already. Good shape. I just want to use some um, leather cleaner to clean it up real good. Now this one I um, loaded already. And this is a red A5 Philofax, and I think it's called the Cross or something like that. Uh, I was so excited to see this. I wanna, I can't remember. I put um on my Instagram page when I found it, so I'm not sure. I can't remember what price it was, but I like it because I did want a planner, you know, with pockets on the side here. And like I said, I did move in it before we went to New York, so that's it. And it's already like stacked, packed. In it. So that was that. Okay, so today on my visit, I one I found these Nike flip flop flops, and they're not like they're in good shape. You know, they're not like messed up. I'm gonna clean them up real good. They were five ninety nine, so that made those three dollars. And I had picked up some um flip flops flip flip flops from the dollar store. They were the worst ever. My feet were hurting. You know the little thing. Where the little thong and it goes into the bottom of the shoe were killing my feet. So I threw those away. Um, the next thing is this Vera Bradley book bag. Y'all know how I like my Vera Bradley. And like I said, our thrift store has really went high. If you see any of my past thrift hauls, I would get um, a Vera Bradley for about $4. Half off, 2 bucks. This was 10 bucks, so it was $5.00. And that would be my only reason for getting it. If it was $10, I wouldn't purchase it. But it's a book bag. And um, has a little ID place here. A pocket there. Has a pocket on the outside and two pockets here. And then it has a zip pocket in the back. Now, I, I've been looking for some book bags. Vera Bradley book bags. Because I wanted one for my daughter for school. So I don't know if, she, if it... Um, may have this for school or when after we went on our trip I realized how um a book bag for me would have really been necessary everybody else had book bags I had my purse and uh, it was so heavy so um if not if she doesn't use that for school I'll be using that for myself okay so another item I found now y'all know me with my Pyrex um I have really cut down I don't just get anything anymore it has to be something that um I really want, I already have on my wish list, or to complete a set that I already have. So I did find this pink gooseberry um, Cinderella bowl, and this is the largest one. So this is the number, looks like 444, I think it says 444. So only other um, bowl I have in gooseberry is, um, I have a Friggy. I have a Friggy and gooseberry is white with the pink. Um, okay, another one is this milk glass platter here, and it has like a rooster on it, 
and the detailing on the back. And I like the platters. First of all, I'll put these in my china cabinet when I'm not using them. And I like them because this will be a great charger if I'm doing a set. And if I put something on here, you wouldn't even see this. So that was my reason for getting this. Um, I have quite a few large platters, milk glass platters. Different designs, but I do like the platters. Okay, another thing I picked up was this here. One of those old, like... Um, it has, you put the little glasses in it and it holds candles, but the idea I got, I found this on, um, oh wait, first of all, this gooseberry was $9.99, so that was five bucks. Like I say, I'm really, um, cheap. And then this, I took the price tag off, I want to say it was $4.99, so $5, $2.50. You want to say something? You wanted to say something? Your daddy said it's in the bathroom. You left it in the bathroom. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay. So this is here. $4.99, so $5. $2.50. And what I have with this now, I have a couple like small little things. They're not round and don't have this many. I have like one thing. And I have them on my fence in the yard. And I have a little glass in it and I put bird seeds in it. So I saw... um. I want to think somebody shared on Facebook like these and they were saying to use it as bird, um, like a bird feeder too. So I'm going to find some um, little glasses probably at the dollar store to put in here and I'll put some bird seeds in it and put it on the fence. And I think it adds like a nice little detail to the yard and I love when they begin to like rust and wear. So I think that's going to look really nice on the fence in the yard. And my last item that I picked up today, I think this, oh, I have another item. It's um like a plaque and it already had hangers on it. It said beach something, but my daughter is painting it now. We're putting it in our garden and we're going to, you know, um, she's going to do it for my husband. So she's painting it. So that was the other piece. Okay, so this last piece that I picked up was this vintage ice cream maker. And this is by Sterling Freezer. And my idea with this is to use it for, um, now I don't know how this thing works. I just saw a picture of it and this don't look like it works like that. But anyway, um, my idea to use this for is a planter in the garden. I think it would add like, like a nice little touch. Um, I'm going to try that because the thing about me, when I get a vintage item, if I really like it, I'm scared to put it outside because I don't want it to um, wear with the weather. However, I have quite a few vintage items and it won't hurt me to put this in a yard. I just like I say, I like to add those different elements throughout the yard, you know, when you look at something. It kind of carries, tells a story and carry you through the yard. So, like I say, I hope to use this in the garden and probably more so in the garden area instead of like in the back where the plants and stuff are. And use it for um, potting, plant something in it. And so that's my idea for right now. So to plant something in it and to leave this in here. So more likely some um, annuals um, because if I put any herbs in it, I don't know, if it, it's, it's not enough space the way I, I want to use it. So I just thought that was a nice little element. It'll look nice on a bench. You know, I, nice. I'll have my husband screw some holes in it at the bottom. And yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh, and this was $9.99. So that was $10, bucks, 5 bucks, And that was a good deal. So that is my thrift haul. And like I said, I haven't been going that often because the prices have really went crazy. The Salvation Army we went to, they start like reorganizing and decorating. They have things set up like with little vignettes and they've got half things color coded. So they have just went crazy with their prices. And looks like some department store has been um, donating a lot of new items. So I guess they think they could just go crazy. But um, like I say, I, I, and I, I really do believe that I won't be going back to that location because after going... Um, the last time and I saw the prices, I was like, no, nah, this is absolutely nuts. So um, Goodwill has been my go-to now. And this one, I think, like I said, I think it's a village that I go to only on Monday because it's half off day. 
So that is my haul for today, my thrift haul with some of my vintage items, some of my favorite things that I like to find when I go thrift shopping. Now I did go to a garage sale um, maybe two weekends ago. I haven't been able to go to garage sales like I want to because on the weekend I'm working and I like to get out to the garage sales pretty early. So I haven't been able to go to the garage sales like I want but I did get a, some cute, really cute items. Um, lately. So if you want to see that, comment down below and I'll share a couple of those items. I think it was just like three or four main items that I really, um, was like, were like my favorite. So if you want to see those, leave a comment below and I'll share them with you. So thank you guys for watching. This is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com. Bye-bye.